Hey everyone, it's Geobug here, and today we are back with the finale of our first ever Jojo Mart run. It was very exciting to do, so let's go ahead and jump right in. We start off day 59, we get some mail, fiber seeds, finally. Then we go ahead and we pick up all of our beets to take on over to Mayor Lewis. Then we put all of our Vista paintings up in the house. We ended up getting six in total. And I just want to take this time to go ahead and say like the video if you're enjoying it. Go ahead and subscribe if you're really enjoying the channel. I really appreciate it. Moving on, we go ahead and put those beats into Mayor Lewis's fridge. And we head down into the mines just for some gold and other things. Nice fire quartz and some more gold. And that was pretty much our day. On to day 60, we give all of our animals some love. Check out the coop, and we have a new baby chick. This one, we thought of several different characters, but we decided ultimately to name it Helga, another Hey Arnold character. Moving on, we water our plants as usual. Then we drop some stuff off at Gunther's. And then we head on over to the desert to continue the key quest. Back in town, we catch Linus bathing in the lake. Usually I catch him in the winter time. Then we finally build our horse stable, which was really exciting. I worked really hard to get the horse stable and I was so happy to just be able to run around on horse and not on foot. Then we plant a whole bunch of amaranth because we're gonna need that for Marnie. And back to bed. <clears throat> Moving on to day 61, we get the card out of our log pile, so now we can go to the club. Back into the mines, just for some nice treasures, fighting some monsters. At this point, we were pretty much just killing time, trying to wait for our plants to grow for the money that we need. We sell off a whole bunch of stuff that we found. And make a small profit of 1,600 gold. Day 62, stop by Gunther's again. We finally got the last dwarf scroll. I was very excited about this. Now we can talk to the dwarf. And we go ahead and grab the translation guide. And move on out. We stop by and give Sebastian a aquamarine. We stop onto the horse because it's finally done. And we just ride him around town pretty much all day. Just really enjoying our horse. We didn't bother naming him anything. I like the name Grover. Wasn't feeling very creative. But on day 63, Gunther stops by to give us the key to the sewers. Funnily enough, we actually never venture into the sewers after this, but it's nice to have the key. We head to the beach and we are lucky and very happy that we finally find an oyster. We were looking for an oyster for quite a while for our fish pond. We sell some gems to Clint. Then we buy a whole bunch of ancient seeds from the traveling merchant. Upgrade our watering can. And then we put the oyster in with the rainbow trout. Grab a couple more rainbow trout and we toss those right into the pond as well. We use rainbow trout because they have a very small chance once you get the pond upgraded fully to give you a rainbow shard. Moving on to day 64, we get the quest for Linus's basket. Then we collect this whole load of eggs that I was never bothering to pick up until now. That's a lot of eggs, one very giant omelet. Then we realize our star fruit is ready. So I was also very happy about that. We go ahead and sell those as well as all of the eggs. <laughs> and that's a nice, nice profit there. Of course, we have to run right over to Joja and we buy the bridge because it's the most expensive one. Jojo will fix that later tonight. We buy a whole bunch of starfruit seeds out in the desert again. And some speed grow. 
we get all that planted and the speed grow put down as well. And then it's the nighttime and the Joji Corp is fixing the bridge. We also got level 9 farming that day, so we get the seed maker and the iridium sprinklers. Day 65, we grab some pumpkins that are finally done. And then back into the mines, just for more treasures, monster fighting. But we do die, because I have terrible aim. We go pick up our warp totem from the item recovery. And we'll get that tomorrow. Level 7 combat, though. Day 66, we had a meteor drop over the night. We don't have a pickaxe strong enough for it, though. We also grab a quest from the job board. Head back on over to Clint and pick up our steel watering can. Then we pick up the basket for Linus and we'll get that turned into him. Right now. There's your basket, Linus. Enjoy that. Do a bit of fishing. Just for a bit of extra cash, I think. Sell all those. I hesitate here on the sea cucumber because I thought about keeping one, but we'll be done with this run in this episode, so I decided to go ahead and sell it off. Water up our plants because we almost forgot. Drop a couple of mushrooms into the rainbow trout farm, and moving on to the next day, we get some amaranth. Now we can turn that into Marnie. Right here, I actually started to fall asleep playing the game, so you can just watch me walk into this wall until I realize, hey, wake up. So then we kind of just dazily walk back into the house and go back to bed at 9.20 a.m. Day 68, we try to walk out of the bed, but we accidentally click all the wrong buttons and skip the day. But day 69, we pick up a whole bunch more eggs. All of our chickens and ducks are producing quite nicely. We do go give that amaranth to Marnie. Pick up a nice 500 gold for that. Then back down in the mines for more treasures. Lots of fiber and more ores and things like that. Then we go ahead and we head home for the day. Level 8 foraging that day as well. Day 70 we get a, an awesome rainy day, which means we can head right on over. And we can grab the mermaid's pendant so that we can now marry Emily. I waited for that rainy day for a very long time. We head on over to Emily. You're such a nice person, Gio. Well, thank you, Emily. You're amazing too. We give her the pendant, and of course she accepts. Happy days for us. I'll set everything up. We'll have the ceremony in three days, okay? Sure thing. Of course, you know we got a flash of heart. We head on over to continue doing some work. We were so happy, we decided to work in the rain. Collect a lot of hardwood, collect a bunch of stone, and clean up some of the farm. And then we head to bed for the night. Day 71, we head on over to the Skull Cavern for the first time. We do a bit of fighting and just some general mining and stuff. We make it to level 8, not very far. We go ahead and we call it a day for that day. Day 72, we did collect some cloth, so Emily stops by to give us access to her sewing machine. Then we go and we head on over to the fair, which is always fun. We drop off of our goods at our Grange box, and we earn second place. We game a little bit, and we win big. Then we go ahead and play some extra games, because I like to get the rare pro here. I'm a crack shot. We play the strength game, we win it. You get one star for that. One star token. And then, of course, we go buy all of our goodies, our star drop, our rare crow. I even have some leftover for dried sunflowers, which you'll see in just a moment. Found a star drop. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of, I think it's meat in this one. I didn't catch it very fast. Originally, I was going to do 
an apiary thing on this, but I decided to do 100 days, which you can check out in my 100 day apiary video, which is also on my channel. The next day, our wedding begins the day, which is really nice. But from this day forward, Geo is going to be as much a part of the town. I can't read as fast as I can in my head, so sorry about that, guys. Well, let's get right to it. Yes, please. Geo, Emily, as the mayor of Pelican Town and regional bearer of the... I couldn't even read that word fast enough. You may kiss. Yay! Sorry about trying to read out loud, guys. I genuinely can't read as fast out loud as I think I can. Marnie's very happy. Oh, Robin and Demetrius were dancing. That's nice. Life's going to be different from now on, but the future is bright. You're absolutely right. We actually go and grab all of our stuff from the Grange display because we did forget it. Head on over to Clint, and we decide to upgrade our pickaxe. We're looking for a gold pickaxe now. Then we sold a bunch of stuff. Got a nice tidy little profit of 3500 and on to day 74. Our pumpkins are nice and ready, so of course we have to pick all those. And then of course we gotta sell them as well. And we're actually just shy of that 20,000 we need for the next upgrade, so we just go ahead and go to bed for the night. And the next day, our star fruits are ready, so of course we go right on over to Pierre, and we sell those off. And wouldn't you know it, we have just enough So I'm kind of just reveling in the moment, taking my time, hitting the button real slow, making it dramatic. We hit the panning. Thank you, Morris. That'll be the last upgrade for us. We go grab our golden pickaxe, because it's ready. And then there's Morris and his boys, getting rid of the glittering rock. Day 76, we get our sweet gem berries, and of course we take those over and get our other star drop. Yep, mead, it was mead, I was right. <laughs> there he is everyone, we go back into town and Morris is throwing us a party. Now we are gonna watch through this whole thing, I've never seen it before, this is my first time completely seeing this. So I really wanted to uh, watch it and share it with you guys. I like all the balloons. Big success sign. Ahem. Just a few short years ago, the great innovators at Joja headquarters. I'm not going to be able to read it fast enough. <laughs> I really tried, guys. I really did. You can pause and read. I can't. But basically, Morris has just given us a play by play of everything that I did and helped out the community, according to him. Repairing bridges, greenhouses, etc. Big promotion. <laughs> Good for you, Morris. You got a promotion. Now, I am aware that the warehouse can become a movie theater. Some people throw that in there. I did not this time because what I wanted was the achievement. I also got the soda machine, which was really cool. Well, that's it, everybody. My first ever Jojomar run completed. We got the achievement. We married Emily. We did everything else we wanted to do, and it was a lot of fun. If you liked this video and you haven't seen the others, there is a playlist. Catch them all. And if you do like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to receive notifications on further videos. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing this. Have a Jojo with me. Cheers, and everybody have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.